years from now, you can indulge in what ifs. But for now, right now, put your hand to your chest. Feel what beats. The only muscle you can't live without needs to stay whole. When I read the essays by Randon Billings Noble in Be With Me Always, I couldn't help but look back with her, to both her past relationships and mine. Noble is an essayist in her 40s who has moved in and out of various relationships throughout her life before marrying her husband, Jay. And me? I'm just a 20-year-old single guy who can barely imagine what marriage looks like for myself in the future. Despite these differences, Noble's words have provided me great comfort in the feelings and thoughts that sit with me from my past relationships. A knot in wood is the base of a side branch or a dormant bud. You are my knot. After we tried and tried again, foundered and failed, years grew around the space you left behind. The phantom limb that still itches in certain towns, in summer parks, in late August. My first relationship was during my freshman year of high school. I was 14, she was 15. She got her driver's license before I could even take the test for my learner's permit. We worked together on and off for a year, and despite this relationship being six years ago, I still hold the lessons that I learned from her close to me. I learned how to communicate my feelings in an intimate and trusting way. I learned to shut up and listen closely. I learned that my decisions do affect the people I love, especially the bad decisions. Most importantly, I learned that people change over time. Her and I have not been close friends since we were together. For years, we had very minimal contact with each other, but eventually our feelings faded and we grew as people. We follow each other on social media again and even talk when we catch each other in person. We don't pretend to know each other as closely as we did before, but we see each other as people. That's what's important to me. We see each other. I know that I will marry Jay, but I also know that I will sometimes be haunted by the fleeting shadow of a figure in black, a glimpse of turtleneck, a drop of blood, the silence that comes before the call, reminders that I have lost something I once cherished. Something I can never have again. Something I will carry with me, whether I want it or not. When we were together, I was always looking ahead. When I left her house after a long day, I was looking ahead to the next time we would be together. When you brought me home after our nights out, I was looking ahead to your text saying that you had made it home safe. When I left you at your job after dropping you off, I was looking at ahead to the next time we would talk when you got off. We loved each other. There was no reason to look back. But now, every time I drive past that theater or that spot we spent so many hours together, I can't help but look back to what we had. I wonder if our powder is still combustible, if it will prove explosive in the end, if the explosion will be the end. I wonder if it is. I wonder what would happen if we were to reconnect. We can't even have a conversation over text. I can't imagine what seeing your face would cause. I know what I wish would happen. It's hard to admit it to myself. It's hard to think it. But it's even harder to say out loud. But still, he was always on the borders of my mind. Even when I knew he was living with someone else. Even when I was living with someone else. But then I met Jay, and my heart emptied its pockets. I know that someday I will meet my own Jay. But for now, I have myself and my thoughts and feelings. For now, my past relationships live on the outskirts of my mind, dipping their toes into my consciousness every now and again. For now, I welcome those thoughts. For I know that their sharp edges will dull over time, as they already have begun to. But just two Tylenol taken every four to six hours for a few days, some white nights a week, perhaps a month, reduces the fever, dulls the pain, metabolizes the love affair. Vinegar, ammonia, tar, 
They keep the liver alive and filtering out all that was already lost until the remnants are ready to be released by the body, the lover, the one who once loved. Brandon, I can't thank you enough for giving me the opportunity to look back with you. Your words were a dose of Tylenol for me, easing my pain. You gave me immense comfort in things that I have struggled with for years. I know that my feelings won't disappear overnight, or in some cases they won't for years and years to come. However, with time, it will be easier. These feelings may be with me always, but that's okay. These feelings are what make me who I am today, even if the experiences that led to them were not what I wish they were. Thank you. I sat watching the Thames rise with the tide, and I knew the tears would come, not now, but soon, and that the loss would hit me. Not hard, but hard enough to remind me that sometimes, not always, you get nothing. But sometimes nothing is better than forever. Anything is still possible.